Jeff Paul is on the scene. He's been in the earthquake zone since yesterday's quake. Jeff, what did you see? What are you feeling? Yeah, Mike, we were at dinner uh, actually wrapping up the day, and um, all of a sudden, it just started shaking violently. We were inside a restaurant, and it seriously felt like the walls were about to come down. People were screaming, sort of climbing over each other to get out because there were active grills running, you know, gas. The, the worry there was fires. Uh, we thought out everyone was very shook up. There were several powerful uh, aftershocks after that. And then once we got out into the open, started to hit the road, we could see black smoke billowing from a neighborhood where we are right now in Ridgecrest, where there is a huge fire. Uh, near a mobile home park. It looks like at least one house is on fire, and they're still trying to put out these flames. And they were in, in the air, probably at least these flames, shooting at the air at least 40 feet uh, with black smoke all over. And everyone right now very, very on edge because, of course, the last couple of days have been full of aftershocks, more powerful ones. And there was the warning that there could be an even more powerful earthquake on the way. There was a 1 in 20 chance. That's what seismologists said. Mm -hmm. And now we have that. We have a uh, it looks like a 7.1 magnitude earthquake. I've been through an 8.4, and it felt very strong. It felt very powerful like that. And we, again, we don't know what's going to happen next. So for folks just joining us, Jeff Paul is on the scene in Ridgecrest, California, where a 6.4 earthquake struck yesterday. There have been many, many aftershocks since then. Now a, a larger earthquake, preliminary report 7.1. And, uh, Jeff, obviously a lot of people's nerves are on edge there in that community, I'm sure. Yeah, it, and you, you see people as you're walking through the street. If anyone's been through a powerful earthquake, it, you just feel unsettled when you, you know the thing that is called solid ground no longer becomes that. And there are people out just sort of laying on the ground trying to catch their breath, out of breath. Um, you could hear the sound of sirens, car alarms going off, uh, fire alarms going off at the various hotels. And a lot of people out here are just brought to tears. It's hard to explain. Uh, that emotion when you go through something like that and you see things falling out and I think a lot of people who were inside that restaurant where we were, I think their lives sort of flashed through their, through their eyes because they, they didn't know if they were going to get out. There was that moment of panic and then that's just one case. This is a town of 28,000 people. There's a lot of first responders here and, um, you know, we spoke with the police chief earlier today and he, he told me that he really felt like he dodged a bullet in this one and just seeing a 6.4, what it could do, you know, he, he didn't think the damage was as, as drastic it would have been. And now mm -hmm. we have this 7.1 that we're only beginning to assess where some of the damages are. At least one house fire that we're looking at right now. And those flames are still shooting up in the air. Black smoke billowing uh, throughout the sky here as it, uh, as it gets darker and darker outside in Ridgecrest, California. Fox News correspondent Jeff Paul live on the scene in Ridgecrest, California, where another major earthquake has struck. Uh, Jeff, I'm sure part of the anxiety at this point is, one, there have been so many aftershocks, now another big quake. Two, it's nighttime, and so there's the darkness and uncertainty of what may be coming, right? Absolutely, and, and you know, everyone, I think, after you know more than 24 hours had passed, I think everyone kind of felt like they were in the clear. There was a smaller aftershock before this big 7.1, and people in the restaurant sort of cheered. You know, they were like, yeah, we made it through it. We're doing okay. Uh, and then the 7.1 7 7 .1 happens, and it totally changed the mood. And, you know, seismologists have been, have been warning about this. This was something they said is a possibility. Uh, it was, a, at the time, a, a, a smaller possibility, and the days go on without, you know, bigger earthquakes. There's a smaller possibility of that. But then here you have this one uh, kick back up, and that's the worry from a lot of the emergency responders that we spoke with was the un that it's so unpredictable. You know, you have, you know, you know, a fire that's in front of you where it's going to go, a brush fire, a flood, you know where that water's going to go, right. the earthquake. You have no idea what's going to happen next. And folks there in California are certainly used to getting earthquakes, but these have been very large earthquakes, and I'm sure that adds to the stress uh, of the moment, Jeff. Absolutely. It certainly does. And you know, these uh, emergency responders out here are doing the best they can. Uh, to deal with not only the situations in front of them, like these large house fires, but also people that are just panicking. And, uh, you know, the lights are out here. There's no street lights out here. The only lights we really have are from the cop cars and the firefighters that are out here. And, uh, you know, people's nerves get to them and they, they make mistakes. And I, I hear someone say, you know, hey, when we get on the road here, you know, roll down the windows and make sure you've got your eyes on a, on a swivel because people... When they go through one of these things, their senses aren't all collected, and that's when, when mistakes can happen. So 
I think everyone's sort of trying to hunker down right now and just kind of cross their fingers that, that this is the worst one, at, uh, at least for tonight. Okay, Jeff Paul, live on the scene in Ridgecrest, California. Our best to you and your crew and the folks there in Southern California.